Well, good evening, everyone. I, I wish I were with you, but I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm trying to do my job here in Washington, and we're in a late session this, uh, this evening, and I can't, uh, can't join you. That doesn't mean my heart and uh, spirit are not with you. They are very much with you. And I understand my name is with you, and it's on an award that's being presented uh, tonight to the folks from WSFS and J.P. Morgan Chase for the good work that you're doing as, uh, in mentoring. And, and I just want to salute both organizations, the leadership, the folks who go out and mentor every, every week. I still mentor. I'm uh, working with a little boy. He's uh, seven years old. He's a second grader at Kuma Academy. And when I was uh, mentoring with him last, uh, last week, I tried to mentor with him about every Monday morning before I go to work. And uh, I said to him, this is before the inauguration of our uh, president, vice president, I said, you, you know what happens next uh, Tuesday down in Washington, uh, Brian? And he said, yes. He said, uh, President Obama is inaugurated. And I said, well, that's right. And I said, you know what happens after that, uh, Brian? He says, yes, they're going to put his picture on the dollar bill. I said, well, we'll talk, I'll have to talk with George Washington about, uh, about that, but maybe we can find some bill. Uh, he'll have a chance to sign a lot of bills, that's, uh, that's for sure. Uh, kids like uh, Brian's one of four boys, four kids raised by a single mom who does a great job. She works at uh, Christiana Care, does a great job holding everything together, and we try to help her. But uh, a lot of kids don't, uh, don't have enough positive role models in their lives, and none of us can have too, too many. The wonderful thing about mentoring, it's like somebody just kind of drops out of the sky. Somebody's not getting paid for this, doesn't get any pension benefits, no health benefits, no travel or anything, compensation, but just they're, they're there for the, for the kid. And all of us, as I said, need uh, some more good uh, role models. And, and and that's what mentoring helps to provide. Reinforces what's going on in the classroom, a partner to the, to the teacher. And someone who just says, if you uh, do your work, do your homework, stay out of trouble, uh, play by the rules, you can go on and be successful like, like I've been. Uh, it's, uh, and the thing that I love about mentoring is that you, you know you're helping the kid, the boy or the girl that, that you're working with, but uh, the person who probably gets more out of it than the child is the, uh, the, uh, the mentor. So the last thing I would say is we work on whether uh, what changes to make to No Child Left Behind and how to fund education and so forth in Delaware and, and in Washington. Uh, one thing we know for sure, uh, mentoring basically doesn't cost the taxpayers anything. It's a freebie. And we also know that kids who have mentors are more likely to make good grades, more likely to stay in school and graduate, more likely to stay off of welfare, more likely to go on and be productive, more likely to stay out of prison. That's a pretty good combination. So for everybody uh, within the sound of my voice who's part and parcel of making all those good things happen, thank you. You are doing the Lord's work. God bless you, and I'll see you uh, hopefully later this week back in Delaware. Bye-bye.